I hope this will be the first of many occasions when Lucas Lodge will be graced with your presence. Here, you see, we're all easy, with no awkwardness or ceremony. Quite. Oh, yes, my dear. Five thousand a year. <laughs> Don't they look well together? <laughs> a most agreeable young man. Now, children, I want to introduce you to the soldiers. And he would dance every dance with Jane. Nothing else would do. Everybody's and are you pleased with Hertfordshire, Colonel Forster? Very much so, Lady Lucas. And ever more so than this evening. The regiment of infantry doesn't find a ready welcome everywhere, I fear. I think your officers will be very well pleased with Meritus. <laughs> <laughs> Denny and Sardison seem well pleased already. <laughs> no doubt you attend assemblies at St. James's Court, Miss Bingley. We go but rarely, sir. Indeed, I am surprised. I should be happy to introduce you there, you know, at any time when I'm in town. You're too kind, sir. Well, well. Good, uh, good. Capital, capital. Insufferable conceit to imagine that we'd need his assistance in society. I am sure he is a very good sort of man, Caroline. <laughs> and I am sure he kept a very good sort of shop before his elevation to the knighthood. <laughs> Poor Darcy. What agonies he must be suffering. Are you a meritant to subdue the discontented populace, sir, or do you defend Hertfordshire against the French? Neither, ma'am, I trust. We hope to winter very peacefully at Meriton. My soldiers are in great need of training, and my officers in ever great need of society. <laughs> Then as soon as you are settled, I hope you will give a ball. Oh, yes, my dear, do. You think a ball would be well received? A ball? Who's giving a ball? I long for a ball, and so does Denny. And Sanderson, don't you, Sanderson? Uh, I do indeed, most passionately. Ah, oh, little Sanderson, I knew you would. Make him give a ball, Mrs. Foster. We'll dance with all the officers. But if Mary would only play something, we could dance with them now. Mary? Mary, let's have no more of that dull stuff. Play something jolly. We want to dance. But there are still two movements. <gasps> Mama, tell them it isn't fair. Oh, play a jig, Mary. No one wants your concertos here. I fear their taste is not as fine as yours and mine, Mary. But let us oblige them this once, eh? For there is no one here who plays as well as you. Very well. <laughs> Though you know it gives me little pleasure. <sighs> Oh. Jane, Mr. Bingley, come and dance Not with us. Not now, Lydia. Get it, get it. 